Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. Feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 23. NASDAQ is down 210. S&P is off 23. Gold contract down $8.70, trading at 17.76 an ounce. We have silver down 43 cents, $21.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $1.75. $70.60 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year up six ticks, trading 130.13. The 30 are up 16 at 161.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up at 345 ticks, trading 96.240. Euro is at 112. Yen is at 113 and a half. And the British pound is trading at here at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're backing down here, and you're backing down with really light volume. So that's telling me that we're not down on the way up yet. Um, you know, we've been talking about, well, let's go where the high is first. So we made a high out here with 72 million. Uh, the top of the high in the SPY was 473. Uh, 56, 54, you came down hard. We exploded with volume on the way down. You got into the lower range, and then you rejected price, okay? So you got right back in the higher range. You had a monster day out here on with Tuesday. Um, that being said, my take is that that's a counter trend bounce in a, in a bear rally, actually. That's, that's the bottom line. That being said, yesterday you got to a higher high, huge contraction of volume, okay? So we, we contracted the 72 million. Day before, of course, is 95. Now look what you're doing today, though. You're going down with 39 million. So we're going to do about 50 million. When that happens, folks, the, the, the highs aren't finished yet. That's, that's how it looks to me. That's your S&P. Now, the NDX 100 is different. It, the, I suspect it's not done going up. That being said, though, it's still trading differently. So what you have with the NDX is this. The, yesterday, we, we got to a high with 39 million. You're doing 38 right now. You're still backing down with light volume. That's the real bottom line. And I suspect what this is about is whatever is going to happen tomorrow morning when the, when the inflation numbers come out. Because it looks to me like this thing, you know, wants to go hit 399 again. You're at 394. You're down $5.5. Dollars. So pretty wild. Some of the, oh, okay, so now let's go, let's go to notes and bonds. So we got our notes and bonds next. We take a look at notes and bonds, and you're going to see that notes and bonds, they still want higher price. It's pretty amazing, actually. But bottom line, you know, the 10-year rejected 129.31 today. You're at 130.13. This is after two breaks topside. You had the first break topside, the sign of strength, um, November 14th through the 16th. You had the next one on December, I mean, November 20th to the... Uh, 27th. That's, those are two big signs of strength, man. That's saying that the 10-year wants to run up to 133. Uh, right now, the yield on the 10-year is 1.48. King dollar. What do we have? King dollar went down 400 and something ticks yesterday. It's back up there. You back. You took back what you have. This, it might take. We'll, we'll see how this shakes out. Now, when you don't have volume, it's a lot harder to basically look at a chart. To, for me, it's it's a lot harder to look at a chart and figure out where it's going. And with currencies, you don't have volume. But my take, see, if we had volume, my take would be, see this right in here? Is that that would be building cause for the lower price. And the way that you would know that, okay, is the as you go down, the volume would expand. Actually, let me go look at the UUP. So the UUP, th this is not the be-all, end-all, but this is, this is something to watch. You, because the UUP is long the dollar, and it does have volume. Let me just look at this. So, okay, so UUP, 
You're, okay, so we made a high out here. Let's see how this shakes out. You made a high out here with a million shares. You came down with two million. You're going, we just tested that. Oh, look at that. We just tested that with 3.2.7 million. And then you went down with, yeah, this is saying the dollar's not done either. Yeah, I'd say, well, when I look at this, this is, gets interesting, man, because when I look at this, this is saying the dollar is not building cars for a lower price. Looks like it's want to go test this high again. Now, granted, this is only, uh, well, 500,000 shares today. It's not bad. It really is not bad. Um, and what this does do, this is, this follows... Okay, so the dollar index is 49% of it. Government bonds are 36% of it. More money, 40% of it. It's a toss-up, man. Yeah. NVDA, yeah, let's go take a look at it. Uh, so you got NVIDIA. NVIDIA out here. Uh, you get a monster consolidation. You're down $12.5. Um, that's that light volume, too. You know, so, I mean, you might spike into this. I suspect the 280s game again, and we'll see whether it holds. Um, you know, there's no doubt that NVIDIA, to me, is a nosebleed territory, you know, because NVIDIA, if you're a fundamentalist, you're still paying um, next year $70 for $1 of earnings. It's like, really? I mean, this is an equity that has done phenomenal. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you're talking about five years ago, you did $6.9 billion, and this year you're going to do $26 billion. So there's no doubt you can see... The acceleration is huge. Uh, that being said, though, watch I, if I can watch we do this. I'll put this back. If I take this and then put this back, I'm going to put it back five years. No, I'll put it back ten. And I'll, I'll just go back six. And so we go back six. So watch this. Yeah. So you go. You, yeah. This is, doesn't even make any sense. You go back six years ago in the stock, folks. In the bottom line, you had three dollars and forty-nine cents. Wow. That is sick. That's crazy. Yeah. No, no, that, no. Sorry about that. No. Oh, 17. Yeah, 26. Uh, yeah, it will. My God. $11. Yeah, even five years ago. $11 to 306. Oh my God. Unreal. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>